it was like this this sort of I, I feel like situations have an emotional timeline and it was more um, it wasn't that I needed to go like I, oh I've experienced this actual situation it was like oh have I experienced that like arc of, of emotion have I experienced that sort of timeline right. of emotion so um, yeah although they did not you know completely exactly. match yeah. up um, yeah there were some things that I was like yeah I can I can take something that I've experienced and I can go further with it or I can come back cool. other questions um, it's not here. Yeah, this question is, is uh, addressed to you in terms of filmmaking and how that's changed. Um, and the economy of filmmaking has dramatically changed to the point where um, there's good folk making. I think I talked to a distributor um, this past year, so the average indie film makes $30,000. So, and that's the real fact that people want to talk about. Um, how has that affected this film, your distribution plan, um, and filmmaking for you as, as a director? Well, you have to be. Uh, you have to be really smart about what you do. You, know, you can't like go off and do, uh, you know, the, you know, a project just because it's a passion project. But you really have to think of the, you know, the business side of things. And we, you know, we finance all our films uh, you know, through private equity up to now. So it's very much, you know, we have a responsibility to the people that put the money into the film. So you know, it's not. We we all just have to be sure that you know we're obviously doing the film for the right reason. You know, up to now, I've never, I haven't sold out yet. I'm not saying I won't sell out, <laughs> but I have, you know, like to me, every movie that I make, you know, uh, regardless of what success it's had, I've made for the same reasons. I've been into the material. It's the kind of movie that I want to see, you know, uh, out there. Um, but you got to be smart. You know, you have to be. You got to kind of line up the elements and kind of line up the budget and figure out, okay, are we going to be able, you know, make our money back? Are we going to be able to make the investors' money back? Because if you can then it's very difficult to ask them for money for the next film. That's all it's about, is, is trying to get the next film going. Um, and you know, we like the independent space because we can make the films we want to make and we have a, we have a really good team. Uh, you know, it's not like we're making movies in a bubble, we do have a really good team and we, you know, we, we don't, we definitely discuss what we're doing and give plenty of notes. And, but at the end of the day, we make the films that we want to make the way we want to make them. So, but yeah, the whole distribution thing is just really difficult right now, especially for like really, Lower budget movies, you know, piracy basically destroys. You know, there's, there's so many. It's the same thing with the, with the music industry. There's so many uh, filmmakers that I know that are good filmmakers, but haven't had their big break, and they can't make movies anymore. They can't. You know, there used to be a time where you could make money off of, 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 of a DVD release as long as you keep your budget low. Now it's becoming more and more difficult. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it, it's it's unfortunate. You know, at the same time, it's, it's never been easy, technically easier to make a film, but it's 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 never been more difficult to get to get it out now. You know, to at least you know you can put it up on YouTube and sell it for free, but um, it's never been more difficult to make money, uh, to make a living. So it's you know it's a challenge, but it's something that you know you just gotta um, fight your way through. And, and you know, and, and that's why you know you have the same in, in, in the heart of it. You know, it, the core of everything, you have to make movies, at least I believe, for the right reasons, you know, um, because, you know, there, you know, a lot of times there isn't this big paycheck, you know, there, you, have to, you, know, you, know, you have to live with this for years, and, and you know, so there have to be other motives, and if, if the other motives aren't there, you're, you know, you basically just get, you just give up, and, you know, you see a lot of films that kind of get to a certain point, and everybody just kind of um, gives up, or kind of, you know, delivers the last pieces, you know, just because they have to. Um, for us, it's a different process. Like we really love the material, and we still love the material. You know, so it's you know, it, 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 you, just, you just have to make films for the right reason. At least that's what I think. What do you think about even on follow up on that a bit? Though, maybe on the flip side of it, the evolution of in home viewing, things like movies on demand, and the fact that you can make a film and it can be released in this sort of format, uh, even if it doesn't get huge theatrical, and even if some other traditional avenues don't work out. People are watching movies more and more at home, and, and yeah. so this kind of thing can sort of open up different doors for. for no, people. absolutely. You know, the, and the thing is that it's just it's the same thing that's had to happen to, in the music industry. You know, I mean, like, you know, people still buy CDs, but there isn't, you know, the, the, but but it's definitely not at the income level it was, you know, 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Um, and people still buy DVDs, but there was, you know, it's just more people watch on demand. And so yeah, there is an opportunity, and also, you know, like I said, it's, it's never been easier to get, you know, a film technically out there. Like, you don't even have to go to print anymore, which is a huge hassle. You don't have to shoot on film anymore. I mean, most people 
the ocean on film. Um, so it's never been easier, um, but at the same time, you, you just got to learn the business. You got to, you know, it's not DVD anymore. There's a bunch of different platforms. There's, you know, Netflix and you know, on demand, and there's all these different avenues. And you just have to learn the business and be smart. Um, and you know, build make material that you believe in, but also that you know you think has some kind of commercial appeal, or else you're not going to make the film for very long. Any other questions? A web series or a comic book version? What about using other media? You are a comic con nerd. No, absolutely. I mean, you know, the, the whole thing is trying to make you know, you know, try to make a film, and then you like our whole thing is you try to build as much media around it as possible. But it's you know, it's just uh, the it, you know, we are at comic con, but the, the it's just that the, the, the entire entertainment industry is changing so quickly. Um, you know, comic books aren't what they used to be. I mean, there's a lot of comic books now, but a lot of them don't make any money. Um, so a lot of times comic books now are basically uh, vehicles for movies or for TV shows or for, you know, web series or whatever. So, and then, you know, the web series, there's, you know, they're, they're, like I said, there's ways to get it out there. It's just that the monetization, you know, the how do you make a living is, you know, hasn't been figured out unless you have a huge following. It's the same in the, in the, in the music business. You know, unless you're already a big band, it's very difficult to make a living, you know, just selling your stuff on the web. Um, being at Comic Con, lots of, lots of uh, projects, lots of movies, lots of different things kind of get the grassroots, or at least studios and different people try to angle to get the grassroots movement going on, on buzz about something. You've lived through that with like Blair Witch that just caught fire and it just went on this wild ride. On this side of it, explain that experience and maybe what, what do you think the, the elements were, the sort of intangibles that happened there that allowed that to take off in the way that it was magic. Fairy <laughs> <laughs> dust. Uh, no, I mean, it, it, was, it was very much like this, you know, you know, lightning, catching lightning in a bottle. I mean, it was just, you know, the, the you know, it was 13 years ago, it was the, the web was, you know, a thousand, you know, the size of what it is now, maybe a million, I mean, it's just grown so much. There wasn't YouTube, there wasn't Facebook, there wasn't MySpace. Um, so there, you know, this, you know, we, the, what we thought was like, well, we have to market this film somehow and we have no money, so how much does the website cost? Well, it's 15 bucks a month to host it. And I had done some websites before, when I was doing the film, and, and as you know, as my job, and so I built the website, and then we started getting a following. But it was basically, you know, all it was was just like us. What's the next step? Well, we got, you know, we got a bunch of people that want to know the news. All right, let's build a let's build a list, and all right, we need to write a newsletter. All right, I'll I'll write the newsletter, you know. So and then so you know, as it happens, as it happens, yeah. And then and then you know, artists in the company that that bought the film. You know, they were smart enough to like realize that there was this opportunity and they marketed, you know, they, they you know, they followed our lead, but they also came up with their own, you know, pretty uh, unique ideas. And it was a great partnership. And it was just like, you know, you know, it's all the all the right elements came into play. You know, the idea that like we, you know, they sold it as like it's it's real. This these three kids actually got lost in the woods. And at that time, you know, the you know, now you can disprove that in 10 seconds. You know, back then, you had to actually do, you know, you could get on the web, on the, you know, but you also had to do other research. Um, and we had people contacting us, contacting us all the time about, hey, you know, I need more information about this guy. And I've, I've gotten to this, you know, the Montgomery, the Montgomery College records, but I can't find a student name. Mike Will, you know, I just, it was just like ridiculous. And we thought, we were like, well, it's not real, dude. <laughs> film years ago in China and you know like I, I expect a lot of people come to me when they meet me or you know they work with me and they're like they have a little Blair Witch story really, a lot of people have like oh I showed it to this person and freaked her out or I went to the theater and I couldn't sleep for a week or whatever it is you know I scared my mom whatever and um, in China you know these people you know, that are, most of them even speak English they had to bring the, you know my AD who spoke English and translate their Blair Witch story to me and I was you know, halfway around the world and I realized you know, I can't believe that this, you know, the movie I did, it impacted, you know, people in Hong Kong, you know. So it was just kind of something, you know, we, you know, when we were, when we were, when Dad and I were going to, we realized, well, this is like, it's never going to happen again. This is a roller coaster ride. The ride's going to end, we're going to get off, and, you know, it's going to be cool, memories, but it was, we knew it was never going to happen again. Yeah.
Well, and so it definitely impacted the, the world in terms of the story, but then in terms of ways of telling horror stories, uh, the handheld camera style, we were the originators of that really fully executed in such a unique way. Uh, how does that make its way to this film, and, and how does it lend itself to making this even more scary? Well, the, 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 I, you know, the, the...